Good evening and Happy New Year. Um, happy New Year. This evening we welcome Father Ron Menti to celebrate Mass with us. Uh, Father Ferrano's surgery was postponed, so he hasn't had his surgery yet. However, he's laying low for the time being, and we look forward to him coming back. But today we enjoy and are grateful Father Menti's ministry with us. stand as we sing Angels We Have Heard on High. My friends, we gather here today as a people of faith, as we begin this new year, and as we celebrate this feast of the Solemnity of Mary, asking Mary's guidance and help and strength and encouragement as we begin something new in our lives. And so we join now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The love of God our Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus, the peace and strength of the Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We come together to begin something new. Let us think of what we wish to leave behind. Those feelings, those hurts, those angers, all that we place before the Lord our God, asking mercy and forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join now. In our Thank you. 
Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thank you, Paul.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons and daughters. As proof that you are sons and daughters, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son or a daughter. And if a son or a daughter, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the good news of Jesus as it is shared with us now by Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, over and over again these days, we hear people rejoicing that 2020 is almost over and we begin a new year. This certainly has not been an easy year for so many people, not only in this country, but around the world. Our prayer and our hope is that things will get better. And I believe our gospel reading is especially appropriate for this year. The shepherds had come and gone. They had shared the news that an angel had announced to them. And now we hear that Mary kept all these things and reflected on them in her heart. Mary lived through an extraordinary year. It all began with a message that an angel brought her. 
Soon after, there was the journey to the home of Elizabeth and Zechariah in order that she could help Elizabeth during her pregnancy. Then it was the word that the couple had to travel to Bethlehem. And it was on that journey while traveling that the time came for her to deliver her child. And today we hear of the visit of the shepherds. It's not only the birth of this special child, but it's also Mary's faith that is really challenged. Mary had certainly known God to be a saving God, a mighty and powerful God. The Lord God was certainly involved in Israel's history. But now Mary ponders this God who chooses to be one with us and to come and to dwell with us. Mary ponders this God who chooses to take on human nature and dwell among us. This now becomes Mary's faith. So often we think and believe in the God out there, the God we call out to, the God we turn to in prayer. And indeed, God is the almighty and powerful God. But God is also the one who dwells with us. Jesus came as Emmanuel, God with us. And he left us when he parted the Spirit. The Lord is just as present to us as he was to Mary. But we need to ponder that. We need to reflect on that in our hearts. We are never alone, and we need to rekindle that faith. That's why this season is so especially important to us. So many people are searching. So many people feel isolated and alone. So many people are hoping for peace and needed strength. We need very much this season, but we can miss the meaning and the gift of this season unless we take the example that Mary gives us today and quietly and prayerfully reflect on all that we have celebrated, but most especially Emmanuel, God with us in the person of Jesus and in the gift of the Holy Spirit. It was Mary who gave us Emmanuel. We honor and thank her today for saying yes to God's call. And we honor her best if we seek to imitate her in appreciating what God has done for us in the gift of Jesus. And so we come to the Lord's table and we celebrate Emmanuel in a very special way. We receive the Eucharist, the body and the blood of Christ. And hopefully we can begin a new year pondering and believing in what we have celebrated. Our God who desires to be with us in all our moments and in all the times of our lives. And hopefully we can find the same peace that Mary found. Let us join now in proclaiming the faith of the 
share. I believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered at the point of time, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of God, Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For our church, its leaders, and people, that we may follow Mary's example of prayerful pondering in order to discern God's message, God's presence in both ordinary and extraordinary moments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, struggling under the weight of COVID-19 and related issues of poverty, homelessness, and diminishing resources, May divisions be healed and hearts turned toward healing and restoration. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and its leaders, may they seek to reconcile differences and establish or renew systems that provide support. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish and local community, as we recognize and receive God's abundant blessings, May we share what we have with those who do not. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who are ill, especially those whose ailments are deemed incurable, may they have the grace of hope that a cure may be found. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For Father Sylvester Sarahadula, Arlene Kerner, Kathleen Becker, and all who have died. May they abide in God's eternal peace, and may those who mourn them be confident in the fulfillment of the promise of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord For the prayers listed in our Book of Intentions and those we hold in the silence of our hearts, May they be heard and answered as, in, as is in our best interest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving and gracious God, I pray that you accept the prayers that we raise in faith this day, that you continue to know the prayers that we bring in our hearts. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you now, if you brought an offering, to place it in one of the baskets at the base of the altar platform.
Please stand and pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to praise, bless, and glorify your name and the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, Howard, our Bishop Emeritus, all the clergy, the religious, and your entire people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us share with one another some sign of God's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Say the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh, 
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Just a word of thanks again to Father Menti and to remind you all to leave your worship aids on your chairs and that we need volunteers to help wipe down the chairs after Mass. Lysol is in the buckets in the parish hall. T-shirts are there for anyone who has ever wiped down one of our chairs. And um, exit is by the Madison Avenue door. Happy New Year. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration here is ended. Let us go forth to continue to celebrate the Lord's presence with us. Thank you. Thank you.